is the last part of Bart and Cooley Glasgow's journey to learn more about critical race theory and diversity, equity, and inclusion programs in Georgia schools, subjects they were not happy about when we first met them. I just don't think it has a place in school. I really don't. Today, they're meeting their final expert here at the National Center for Human and Civil Rights. Welcome, welcome. Ah, thanks for having us. She's Nicole Moore, the museum's director of education. But before the interview, she's taking the Glasgow's on a personal tour. We're really just going to focus on the Civil Rights Gallery for today. Mm -hmm. To show how she helps educators teach American history during this civil rights movement. And this is the space that I love the most for students because this is where they see themselves. Young activists like 15-year-old Claudette Colvin, who refused to give up her seat to a white woman in Montgomery nine months before Rosa Parks did. They've heard Rosa Parks, they know Dr. King, but when they start to see their peers, mm -hmm. they realize they have a voice that can create change. They also participate in a simulated lunch counter sit-in that happened in 1960, where they hear white workers yelling, hitting, and spitting at civil rights activists. A moment that nearly brings them to tears. What was that like? It just, it was terrifying, and it just put chills down my neck. So was there any one particular story that you were just like, how did I not learn this? I would say that Claudette Colvin, you know, that she had ridden the bus a year before Rosa Parks. The Freedom Riders, I just was not familiar with that part of history. I mean, Wow. Yes. And how men and women together, just organized together, we have a plan. Bart asked Nicole her thoughts about how diversity, equity, and inclusion programs influence American history in schools. What would you say, uh, uh, people that think that, you know, they're trying to put this into schools or that into schools. Doing the work yourself, mm -hmm. doing the research yourself, doing the homework. Let's be honest, history is ugly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel good all the time. We need to be okay with that, but we also need to learn from that. And I think the best educators want to be able to make sure that their students can connect, that they can see themselves, that they can feel empowered that they know that they're not too young to do. Mm -hmm. That's important. I think as adults, we gatekeep a lot. We second guess what our babies are capable of thinking. And it's always the best method to let them present information and then let them decide. That's how we get a generation who can make choices, not based on what we've told them, mm -hmm but based on what they have learned on their own. Coming up, the Glasgow's journey comes full circle. After everything you've learned, have you had a change of heart? I would, I would.